Hi everyone, just coming back from work. When I say work, I mean eating. I was doing a review for next Friday. Very disappointed. Once again, I actually had this before and it was terrible. And today was no exception. Hence the score that it's getting. <laughs> but I did go through uh, pretty all of the comments from yesterday and wow! Gee, I tell you what, uh, talk about making me feel good. Talk about blowing wind up my bottom. <laughs> wow, so many beautiful, wonderful comments about what I do for people's lives. And, you know, the ones that stood out was, it's a show about nothing. And, well, I love Seinfeld. Absolutely love it. And, yeah, a show about nothing. It just goes to show that a show about nothing can be done and has been done and well tell you what if I got half as successful even one hundredth as successful as or a thousandth as successful as Seinfeld dude I would be rich loaded not that I do it for the money apparently he's worth like 700 million or 800 million dollars now Seinfeld wow that is a lot of money I mean, if I was worth a thousandth of that I'd be very happy in fact I'd probably retire I'd just make videos full-time if I had that sort of coin oh there's some swans with ducklings is that what they're called ducklings swanlings damn camera keeps sliding off oh, I wish I had some double-sided tape maybe some blue tack that's what I need blue tack now the sun is back out and of course after it's been raining and it's sunny it brings out all the humidity so it is humid as it's 90% humidity and currently it's 30 degrees Celsius so it feels like you're in a sauna a little bit and on that food review I was just doing I was sweating bullets in the car I was in the sun and uh, you have to worry about shadows and I had to move the car and then I parked in a Park, shopping, parking, centre lot, and there's all these cars pulling up. Ah, dramas! I oh, wish it was just easy. Imagine being in a studio with lighting. Whew. And what else? Camera people, a director, a script. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. And I might even know what I'm talking about. I could preempt stuff instead of just making it up off the top of my head. Mmm! Oh, greatest smell in the world. Onions and garlic in butter. Tell you what, that should make like a cologne made with that. Oh, you'd have every plus size chick coming up to you, having a good old sniff. Mm. Every chef and cook coming up, sniffing you all around. It'd be like a pack of dogs coming up. <laughs> I'd be cocking my leg constantly. <laughs> Imagine if humans were like dogs. Pretty sure we are most of the time. Uh, I think this is where society is almost falling apart. Is because um, they treat humans as some sort of species that hasn't got any animal instincts anymore. Which of course we are. We're animals. We're still animals. We've still got our basic animal instincts. We still have our urges. Our, uh, like our caveman sort of traits. We've still got all that stuff. And... The, I mean, people like lefties, let's face it. They were like, no, no, we're not allowed to have those anymore. We have to be better than that. Do as we say, not as we do. And that's leftism. Just whipping up a pasta sauce because it's supposed to be cold, er ish. I figured, you know what, I'll just whip this up. This will do me for three, four days. Now, I won't have to worry, worry about cooking. I can just relax in my little bubble that I live in. Chill out. It's all about chill outing. Chillaxing. Chili con car. Hey, I could turn that into a chili con car, actually. If I had the con car. Oh, no, that is the car. If I had the chili, I don't have the chili. Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, dark it is. Can't believe how dark it is. And it's only like 4.30 because there's a huge storm coming. This is the calm before the storm. Looking out for SJWs, mate. Now the storm is coming in from the northwest, which is a really unusual 
direction for it to come. Let's see if we can get some sort of a vantage point and suss it out. Oh no! Oh, the storm's already gone right past us. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's all over there now. Ah, oh, rats. Hey, check out these flowers. Look how beautiful they are. After the rain, the tree has just flowered. And there's quite a few rainbow lorikeets up there enjoying the flavours of the flower. Now I was just editing the Fast Food Friday video and I, you know, I was just so negative in it and I was thinking, you know, I've got to be more positive but when the product that I'm tasting is rubbish, then how am I supposed to be positive, you know? I just can't lie, I just don't know how to, or I'm really bad at it so I just don't even bother, <laughs> but yeah, just... You know, I'd love to be able to just make a really nice, positive, great uh, review on something. But nothing tastes good. It's all rubbish. Especially what I had today. Oh, mate, seriously, I don't know how these places stay open. There's still people in this shop, so I don't know. You know, obviously some people like it, but those people obviously have never tried any other food. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be at that shop, that's for sure. Oh, that's right, i got some food on the slow cook. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a bit hard to tell, isn't it? When it's at this stage. I'll put some anchovies in this. Hopefully they've all dissolved. I can't see them. Which means flavour, flavour, flavour! Now, I just remembered that, have a look here. In the fridge, I've still got the chicken and mashed potato, which I've had for the last few days. Totally forgot I had that, I thought I'd eaten it all. Ah, God. Now I've got too much food. I really don't feel like eating that chicken and mashed potato again. I've had it for three days straight, I really don't feel like it again. But I've got to use it up, because you know chicken goes off pretty quick. Unless I can find some vagrant or some junkie that I could feed it to. Well, I know old mate over there, she's a bit... I hear her yelling all the time at her husband. I actually think they're moving out. That's the latest gossip going around. I heard the tape going over boxes. I heard them yelling about, can't wait to you to get out of here and uh, you know all that sort of stuff. So maybe they're going. Would that be good? Hopefully someone with our kids moves in, so I've got more screaming kids running around. We've got a neighbour, they've just given birth to a newborn. All I hear is a newborn crying. <sighs> well that's alright, they're very nice. She's Japanese and he's Aussie. Right, what time is it? Six o'clock? Gee, where'd all that time go? Ah, oh, mate. Ah, I was pretty sure it was 4.30 before, wasn't it? Gee, well I just did edit some videos, I'll tell you what, editing. It takes so long, but I've just pre-edited two videos and made one today, so that's been a pretty productive day. But 6 o'clock, mate, I tell you what, it's got to be knock-off time, right? No, it's never knock-off time. It's, it's always time for something else. This problem with this job. It's you're always working. Always working. Not always, but most of the time. Even when you're relaxing, you're working. Like now, you see? A lot of people will think I'm just reaching into the fridge to grab a beer. But I'm actually working. See? Whilst I'm recording this, this is my job. Because I will probably make two dollars of this video in ad revenue. So, Take that! I did notice uh, that my ad revenue hasn't exactly gone up. So, I've 
But I did notice there was more ads in my videos and there was even some afterwards. So I don't know how that works. Maybe the... I don't know. I don't even know. But you might notice I'm not in a shirt. I'm actually getting ready for my trip to Singapore. Now, when you go to Singapore, you notice, like, when I'm staying at Bernice's place, Bernice lives with her family, and the, her brother and father just walk around, no shirt on. Take your shirt off, Greg, they say. I feel like, you know, I'm pretty big when I'm compared to them. Don't want to embarrass them and shame them with this body of a god. I won't show you it because it's not at the moment. But yeah, it's uh, very, they're very into not wearing shirts over there, which is fine by me. <laughs> Mate, I could walk around half naked all the time. Wouldn't bother me at all. I'd like that. Except just not out in the sun, not with my lily white skin. Unfortunately, the women over there don't walk around half naked. <sighs> I'm sure back in the day they would have. When they were tribal. Bloody... Capitalists. And designers ruining our male fun. Just seeing half naked women walking around everywhere. Yeah, thanks a lot. Ugh, so much work. I've still got to edit this. Ah, oh, why, Jesus? Ah, well, that's life. I'll catch you next time.